So we have Philip here again um, from the book Male and Female, he created them. So Philip, the issue facing um, women today is the objectification of women, you know, um, and what it, what's the battle that we have on our hands today with that? Well, absolutely. I think this is a major issue and, um, you know, uh, it's a major problem in our society now. But I believe, as I said in my previous videos, you know, it comes down to the fact that uh, we're, we're only hurting ourselves, you know. Uh, like a man who objectifies a woman is really hurting himself, he's objectifying himself. Uh, this is a shadow self of play. What do you uh, so, mean by the man's objectifying himself? Well, because he hasn't accepted that the feminine is part of him, you know. He hasn't accepted that. And, uh, that they complement each other. That, that we're complementing, yeah. that he's created to be one with that, that feminine energy. Mm. And that's how he loves, you know. He's created in the image of God. Uh, it's created to be one with the feminine, uh, and, and, and that's how he, he gives love, you know, he expresses his love. So, as long as he, he, he's fighting that, he's, he's really fighting himself, he's, he's not accepting himself, you know. So, he has, he has real psychological problems, a spiritual problems, I would say. And it's, it's only when he becomes one with the feminine that he's going to realise his true, his true power, and his, uh, he's going he's to realise his fruitfulness as a spiritual being, created for love. Uh, uh, so, yeah, this, this, is, this is what it comes down to. We're only hurting ourselves, and, and men and women fighting uh, are only hurting themselves because we're, we're failing to, we're, we think that we're the same, you know. What women are trying to be men, men are trying to be women. We're not recognising that we're actually complementary, mm. uh, and we're meant to be one, you know. Mm. And uh, this is the nature of who we are. Uh, this is how we love, you know. This is how we image God, image God's love. Uh, so unless we recognise that and, and connect to that, we're, we're never going to realise our full, our full power and potential as, um, as human beings, you know, created for life. Great. Some really good points you've made there, Philip. And once again, um, yeah, thanks for giving us your insight today. Thanks, Thomas. So here we go. We have Philip here again. Now, Philip, um, just delving in a little further, before we were talking about the objectification of women and, you know, what that means um, for man and how he's rejecting you know the feminine side of that and um, you know that we're not equal that we are different but complementary you know equal in our uniqueness um, Absolutely. so yeah if you could just you know go go on further and, and what are those forces that are pulling us away from who we truly are true essence absolutely I, I, I believe that there are dark spiritual forces at play here, uh, that are, are attempting to prevent us from, from recognizing who we are and, and to connect to our true essence and connect to each other um, and that's how we're going to realize our, our, our real power as i say um, and these forces are um, are very destructive forces uh, and um, saying like first we must realize who we are in God and you know our masculine unique and our feminist unique um, and then we can sort of respect and regard each other in a complementary way. Absolutely and, and connect to each other you know um, and, uh, and, and realize that we have the potential and power to, to, to love. Um, so really as long as we're fighting each other we're never going to realize that power mm. and as I say there are forces at play that are trying to prevent that gender theory, uh, they're trying to create confusion as to who we are you know, as men and women. And I mean, if we don't know who we are, we, we're not going to be able to connect to that and realise our, our true power and potential as human beings, joy of God. We're just not, you know. And, and, and they're engendering, you know, um, women to hate men, men to hate women. Uh, so again, you know, this is this is trying to prevent this, this connection, you know, and, and, and the power of love.
celebrate. So it's a more really, really good insight and um, we look forward to, um, you know, talking more about this issue and the different sort of topics that surround it as well. So once again, thank you very much, Philip. Thanks very much, Liz.